Welcome back to The Social Stack, your go-to channel for real estate marketing tips based in technology. I'm Amy Stack, and today we're doing another short stack. We will be talking about how to send referrals through the Keller Williams Command referral platform. Let me go ahead and get my screen shared. And last week, we talked about how to connect with agents in the referral platform. So as a quick reminder, once you are in command, you'll come to the referral icon on the left hand side. And you are now in the referral platform. So from this screen, if you have already connected with an agent and you know who you want to send a referral to, you can find them by scrolling through or searching a name. So here's Marty that I've connected with. And you can see on the right hand side, I have the send referral button. I can just tap on that. And I can tell Marty if my referral is a buyer, seller, tenant, or landlord, what I want for my referral fee. You can set that however you think is best. I can give him an acceptance deadline. So if I've already talked to him about it, and I know that we're going forward with it, maybe I'll make the accepted deadline a little longer because I'm not really waiting to hear back from him. If I'm sending it and I haven't talked to him, maybe I'll keep it shorter, reach out and say, hey, are you interested? And if not, he can decline it on his end uh, or I can make it even shorter. Looking for somebody who's really on top of watching the referral network. So you can play around with that acceptance deadline. You can put the max and minimum price that your client is looking to purchase or sell for any special notes. And then you can add your client. So you see we have the option here to select from database or create a new contact. So if it's not somebody already in your database, you can put that little check that bullet point there and fill in the information. Now you can see right here, whoops, that when uh, this about this line, it's kind of a faint line right here. The agent won't get the information below here. They won't get that contact information until that they've actually accepted the referral, which is important to know. So you can see you can keep going down and adding more information to your client's current address, where they're looking to move. See, I do have buyer selected here at the top. You can put their contact information and their deadline. Um, so I would hit on this case, I would hit add contact and send because I would add them uh, to this referral right here. And this would then go to Marty and he would receive it and he can either accept or deny it. I'm going to hit cancel. So that's if you're already connected. Now, if I don't know uh, somebody in the area that I have a referral going to, I can hit the map button all the way at the top, or I can also hit this grow my network button on the right and it will take me to the same area. So we looked at the map last time and I'm actually going to show you how to broadcast a referral. So I have it left on production. So let's say I know the specific area I want to go to. I think we looked at Denver last week. So we'll look at Denver again. Now all these dots are pieces are transactions that have happened in the last 12 months. So you can see as I zoom in, this number on the top right by results is getting smaller. So I can still use my filters in the top right and I can say, um, so I have a buyer, so I want somebody that's done at least three buys in the last year and maybe somebody that was that's in the MAPS coaching program. So I can apply that filter and you can see that changed my number to three. So if I want more than that to choose from, maybe I'll bring my buy side down. Did that change at all? So that opened it up to eight people. And that seems like a fairly good amount of people to send that referral to. And all I have to do is select this button right here at the top on the right that says broadcast referral. So you can see again, We've got our buyer, seller, tenant, landlord, same type of information. We've got that notice that the client is going to be kept completely confidential until you award the referral to um, the one of these eight people. Um, oh, so I misspoke on the last one. If you're sending it directly to an agent, you will 
they will receive that information. If you're sending it as a broadcast, the agents will only receive your client's information once you say, yes, you are the agent I want to work with. Uh, so you can write a message again, information about the, the property, the details, everything like that. And uh, when you are all ready, you just hit send broadcast and it would go to all eight of those people that I have selected. I do want to show you if I, let me reset those parameters to get a bigger number here. Oh, and I got to turn off the maps filter. There we go, apply. So now you can see when I have my 333 results that came up, I can't click that broadcast referral button. It's got to be a smaller net uh, that we're casting. So if I zoom in, my number is going down. You can see now we're down to 88. And now we're down to 20. So at 20, I can broadcast that referral. So you'll see on here, it'll be grayed out until you get to a small enough group of people. And again, just like before, we have this list. So this is the third way. We have the list of agents that are popping up. If you want to send a referral directly to one person that you may not have been connected to already, you can hit this little button that kind of looks like an inbox with the arrows going up. And that will give you the ability to send that referral directly to them. And because you're not connected in your referral network already, uh, you have this yellow notice again that they're not going to receive your client's information until they've accepted and you guys have agreed on terms. So that's three different ways you can send referrals. Uh, two from the map. So one to an individual agent by narrowing down your list on the right-hand side. One to broadcast if you get a small enough area on your map and a few enough agents populating. So you can see I can send to 20 agents at once. Or if I go back to my network, these are all the agents I've already connected with and I can scroll through to find them, hit send referral, and I do have the option to uh, type a name to look for somebody specific too that's in my network and then just hit that send referral button again. So those are the different ways you can connect uh, and send referrals across Keller Williams. Come back next week and we'll do some more referral tips. See you then.